Hello. My name is Dickel F. Flockett, and I'm asking you for your vote as President of the United States of America. My opponent has tried to take me out using dirty tricks. They were all lies. She's trying to get the women's vote, the black vote, the illegal vote, and she even tried to steal the gnome vote. But she failed. She has no shame. Now I see that she's going after the canine vote. <laughs> you just can't make this stuff up, folks. As president, I take a vow of poverty. I will accept no salary. Just a place to stay, free food, beer, and whiskey. So on election day, vote. Dick Off 2016. This is Dick Off Lockett, and I approve this message. Okay, hold on to your hats. This is part seven and the final episode of this Admiral series, model 6S12. <laughs> and there's my platter that I spray painted in the last episode. I think it turned out pretty good. Oh, brother. Good Lord! I did not do the bottom. But I might just clear coat this to protect it from rust. Last time there was a light coat of uh, paint on it. You've seen how it came off real easy in the last video. And uh, despite all those uh, pits and stuff, it looks pretty good. Of course, most of that's going to be covered anyway by this. And I want to put this on here. So the only color you're going to be seeing is through here and from the edge. But I got one problem with this. Uh, this has got a uh, a one inch uh, center here and if that's on there it's going to cover up uh, the E locking ring and everything so I can't have that. I'm going to have to make this hole bigger. And so I splurged and bought this. It's a 10 piece hollow punch <laughs> from Nyko made in China. <laughs> Let's open it up here. He's got these uh, hollow punches and these are supposed to be sharp enough to go through uh, rubber and uh, some soft metals. I don't know if that's true. I haven't tried it yet. But how this works is it comes with a piece here and you just uh, screw this in like this. Be careful! Be careful. And put it down like this, and you just whack it like that. So let's try this thing, huh? Yeah. I'm just gonna use this material here. This is like gasket uh, material. Watch out, boss, for that rubber. Let's see if I wasted my money or not. Let's stick it here and punch that little hole into it. Here we go. What are you doing with that damn hammer? Could have used a, one more thump, but there it is. Did cut it out. I decided to use the uh, the larger punch, which is an inch and a quarter. The bigger, the better. It's sitting on a ridge. And I'm turning it to see if it's centered. And this is not easy to do. We can't afford another screw up. Make it good. Let's go for it. 
Did it work? Anyone? Anyone know the effects? Hey Mac, did it work? Don't act like you're not impressed. I hit it again. I guess it wasn't enough. Hit it again. Cut free Tanya! The hammer of Thor! What a piece of junk! What's up with you? What's going on? I'm confused. <laughs> I hope you can get your money back. Not bad. It's not good either. Go like that. Okay, it's time for the alignment, and this is going to be short and sweet. Glory, hallelujah. There's two IF cans. This one's got to be done first, uh, A1 and A2. A1 is the inner core, A2 is the top one. So I got uh, one tool that will fit in there. So the signal generator is set for 455. Got a 250 picofarad cap on the signal generator to the uh, test point and a 0.1 cap uh, to ground. Let's turn this up a little bit. Okay, keep your eyes on that needle. I'm going to adjust the, the uh, inner core, which is A1. Let's see if we get any difference here. Up just a tad. Top one. Not much on that one. A3. Got a little boost on that. A4. Not really anything with that one, so I'm gonna go through it again, but uh, that's basically the alignment and uh, it wasn't out very much at all. We're gonna have to fill in all these uh, these numbers here and the, the Admiral logo. And uh, I was gonna use acrylic paint, but when that dries, it's too hard to uh, take off the excess on the Bakelite. I'm going to use uh, the old regular washable paint. I used to call this poster paint when I was a kid. Chachos, there it is. Hey, 
Holy mackerel! Looks pretty good. Marvelous. Wonderful. Amazing. I'm going to attempt to uh, glue this onto the platter. I'm going to use epoxy. A pox upon me for a clumsy lout. I know that sounds crazy, but... Well, you're crazy. That's what I'm going to do. You have a way of mixing politics and passion. A dull cliche. I'm using this because gonna set fast and once I put it on there I can move it around a little bit in case it's not centered right you're not much of a bargain you know you're conceited and thoughtless and messy okay for a second there, I thought I'd, I had it on the wrong side <laughs> oh brother in honor of uh, President's Day coming up here I've got a joke for you guys Seems an old man walks into a bar wearing a stovepipe hat, a waistcoat, and a phony beard. And he sits down and orders a drink. Bartender asks, going to a party? And the old man says, yeah, a costume party. I'm supposed to come dressed as my love life. The bartender looks at him and says, but you look like Abe Lincoln. The old man says, that's right. My last four scores were seven years ago. <laughs> Taking longer than I thought, so I better get my ass in gear. That's for you, uh, Andrew, the piano tuner. Blimey! On the last video, told me to get my ass in gear, but he used the word arse. See, he's from uh, the UK. They say arse instead of ass. I don't know why. Maybe he'll let us know. Right, Captain. Alright, I think it's covered. Let's take the excess off. Please hurry up. Okay, let's do it. Okay, this is for all the marbles here. I've lost my marbles. I'm gonna wipe my hands and make sure I don't get anything sticky on them. 911, what's your emergency? Yeah, um, my wife got attacked by a warthog real bad, and I need someone to come up with an ambulance and pick her up. Okay, sir, uh, can you give me your address? I got some there, I gotta clean up. Uh, yeah, we're at 1825 Eucalyptus Drive. Okay, could you spell that for me, sir? Uh, I I'm gonna drag her on over to Oak Street, and you can pick her up there. Let's use some alcohol. That. I'll drink to that. <laughs> Not to eyeball it. Looks like it needs to be moved. Seems like you can never get it just right. This is going to be perfect, you understand? Straight down the line. Beautiful, ain't it? I think that'll look all right. It's rotten, I tell you, rotten! Photos of the reassembly. Well, I added an extra weight there, as you can see. I took it from the other tone arm that I previously had. Made sure it could fit through the holes. I just needed some washers, so I put the... Uh, washers in there and uh, there it is uh, all set and it was time to weigh it and it weighed eight grams just right then I had to put everything back together there's the chassis getting ready to be put in I put the plate over it then I had to put the dial pointer on there and it took me about two hours to get that thing lined up right it was a real pain in the butt but I finally got it working right and I had to put the bezel on and the bezel uh, came with some clips in the back and I put the clips in there there's a shot from the bottom with the antenna the uh, changer and the chassis installed and I had to put the hardware on 
And last but not least, the hinges. So it's all back together. So don't go away. Up next, the reveal. Okay, it's almost time for the reveal. But uh, first I'd like to play a 78 and see how it sounds. You remember I played a 78 uh, Perry Como record uh, last time before it was even uh, fixed. So we're going to play the flip side of that, just a little bit of it. But uh, I remember when I uh, was reading the comments, uh, Cool Blue Lights, his, his name is Dan, he said that reminded him of a Twilight Zone episode that he's seen that uh, where this guy wanted to uh, hear his Perry Como record. Oh, Perry Como. Look, do you think we could play it? I don't think we'd better, Dan. And it's his birthday, and he gets the Perry Como record, but he never gets to play it. And there's this little strange little kid who had strange powers. He irritates the kid so much that uh, the kid turned him into a jack-in-the-box. And wished him into the cornfield. Please, son, wish it into the cornfield, please. And here's what he said to the man when he did that. You're a bad man. You're a very bad man. Oh, you nasty man. Anybody remember that? Yeah. That's one of my favorite episodes. So this is not the Twilight Zone, and the kid's not around, so I'm going to play a little bit of this Perry Como record. Let's put it on 78. I haven't heard Perry Como in years and years. See how old Perry sounds. Look, do you think we could play it? Or just the first part, the orchestra part, before Como sings? fade out on Perry and don't go away you get to see the reveal finally after all these weeks okay here it is the reveal after all these weeks finally get to see it I give you the 1950 Admiral Radio Record Player Model 6S12. <laughs> Let's play a little ditty from 1946. Me. Thank you. 
jokes, it isn't fair. He tells me I'm too young and makes me take the air. But I could tell a couple that would curl his hair. I'm a big girl now. I'm a big girl now. I want to be handled like a big girl now. One mighty fine looking radio. I think I'm in love with it. And you keep thinking bad thoughts about me. I can't even play my own record. I can't even play Perry Como.